Hello, this is Tola from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to do non-destructive editing in Blender. And what non-destructive editing is, <coughs> excuse me, is getting over a cold. <coughs> but what it is is um, pretty much making adjustments to your model that can be easily reversed. Um, today I'm going to use a model I've been working on, um, and he's got on a pilot shirt. And let's say you want to make this shirt, the sleeves, much bigger uh, because maybe whoever you're, you're giving it to in your pipeline, um, the animators, they feel that the shirt being this size, the sleeve being this size, would uh, interact poorly with the rest of your mesh. So you want to make the sleeves bigger, but you don't want to do it in a, in a way that's going to cause the mesh uh, to have issues later on. And what you can do is go to uh, the side panel here, the shape keys, and under shape keys, under your um, uh, your data, your object data tab here, click on this plus sign. <coughs> Excuse me, click on the plus sign. And when you do that, a, another shape key uh, element comes up. You can double click on that to rename it, and I'm going to rename it um, sleeve. <laughs> adjust okay and then you underneath uh, that you'll see a value slider and you move that all the way up to, to one you can click and drag it or you can just click inside and enter it enter one uh, with your keyboard and then when you've done that go into edit mode when, when your uh, mesh is selected go into edit mode by pressing tab and um, so I'm going to make this sleeve bigger. What I'll do is that I'll hold down the Alt key on my keyboard, and then make sure I'm in face mode uh, in Blender. Hold down the Alt key and then click right in between these two faces, and it'll, it will select this ring of of uh, faces here. Once I've done that, I'm going to go down here to the bottom of my window and click on this little circle here. Click on that, and then choose Connected. Then once I've done that, I'm going to press S on my keyboard, and then that's going to scale it bigger and smaller. And to control the influence of that um, of the button I just clicked, I'm going to scroll down on my mouse, my mouse wheel. It's pretty big now. I don't even know how I got this big. Uh, let me see. Let me scroll down. I'm scrolling in the wrong direction here. Okay. Okay. There we go. That circle shows the influence that um, my selection is having on the rest of the mesh. It's pretty handy once it's been activated. And when, once I've done that, I can move up or down with my mouse and make the sleeve bigger. And then scroll up to influence, to increase my influence in the area, and then uh, left click to verify that selection, then tab out. And as you can see, the sleeve has gotten bigger. And I can go back to my slider over here and, and go up and down to make it bigger or smaller. And that's how I can edit a mesh in Blender uh, non-destructively. And even if I wanted to, if I felt that, or the animator felt that uh, this slider wasn't necessary, you can just click on the minus button and pretty much delete that uh, shape key. So that's pretty much how you can adjust or yeah, just a mesh in uh, Blender non-destructively uh, in your workflow. So once again, choose your mesh. Go to um, the shape keys under your uh, object data tab here. Click on the plus sign to uh, create another shape key. Once that's been created, uh, turn your slider. You can name it by double clicking in this. Rename it by double clicking in this area. And then once that's been done, adjust the value slider to 1. And then go into edit mode after the message has been selected, go into edit mode uh, by pressing tab. And then adjust whatever part of the mesh you want to adjust. And that's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful. And hope you gained um, some uh, you know, knowledge from what we've learned today. All right, thanks for your time, and uh, see you guys on the next one. All right, bye.